behalf of the Washington County Agricultural Fair Board. Uh, join us for a day to celebrate this new opening here. Uh, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to the commissioners and we'll get started. We want, yeah, there we go. Claude got us fired up in the pretty quick there, but uh, I guess we're just supposed to give the welcome. But on, on behalf of 208,000 people here, we're certainly excited about what's going on. This is a showcase in Washington County, uh, the Washington County Fair and our trolley museum uh, partnering to, for an event like this. Uh, we're just so excited about it and what this means to Washington County. We were just chatting over there a little bit about uh, the trolley museum and, and what an attraction it is becoming in, in, uh, right in the center of our county. So we're excited about it. The Washington County Fair is one of the best run and I, I think with the people who's running it, it's just fantastic in, in the state. I'm very proud of what they do. They face countless, dauntless hours of work. And, and problems that arise at the last minute. We were just chatting a little bit about some of them, but they always overcome them and have a successful event. So uh, we're happy for what's going on today. We're happy to be dedicating this new um, project and get excited for uh, the fair season. Thank you. Good morning. I have a new friend with me this morning. Grace Bioni and her father, Ted, um, built the bridge that we're dedicating. And uh, Grace is so excited about it. And she wants you all to know that her handprint, if you go to the back and to the left, you're gonna find her handprint in the bridge. So she's really excited about it. What a great project, you know, trying to bring the Trolley Museum even closer and easier access to our fair. Um, it just allows for participants to have an even greater experience. So I want to thank everyone at the Trolley Museum and, and our fair board who works so tirelessly to bring a wonderful week of family fun, safe family fun to Washington County. So we just uh, pray for tremendous weather and uh, we're happy to uh, make this a great day in Washington County. God bless you all. You know, in real estate, they say location, location, location is everything. And I believe the fairgrounds, the Trolley Museum has, has had the location for a long time. I think access is also very important and that's what we're seeing today. And, and for the fair board, thank you for everything you do to run a good agricultural fair every year. To the Trolley Museum, Scott and the crew, we can't do it without you. You can't do it without the volunteers. So a lot of people contribute to what we have seen here today, what we're at, what we're celebrating. So thank you to everybody. Congratulations, and we'll have a good day. Thank you. Camera, do you have any remarks? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to just steal the microphone or anything. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm Cameron Bartolotta, the state senator for uh, southwestern Pennsylvania. Um, we are in the very, very epicenter, the heart of my district. And this truly is the heart uh, for so many reasons. This is the, the tourist mecca of Washington County. This brings in thousands and thousands of people from everywhere, from all corners of our area, to, to celebrate with us, to, to play here, to come experience our wonderful, wonderful Washington County Agricultural Fair. Um, don't forget, Sunday is the opening of the fair. And I wanna see everybody there, tell all of your friends. I have so many people who ask me, are we gonna go to the fair, are we gonna go to the fair? And these are people in their 40s. Um, you would think it's kids, but it's, it's everybody. Every age group loves to come to the fairgrounds. And everyone I know loves to come to the Trolley Museum. 65 years ago is when the Trolley Museum got its start. We should be celebrating that as well, and I think we can really um, appreciate all of their, their hard work, their decades and decades of hard work, the, the thousands of volunteers over all of these years that come and just pour their, their hearts into what has become a major tourist attraction. And I'll leave you with this. The, the, the movie, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, is coming out very soon. 
you better get your your time with that very special trolley now because when that movie comes out it's going to be huge it's really going to explode across uh all of pennsylvania and hopefully across the country so congratulations um thanks for putting tourism in washington county on track uh to be bigger better than ever yeah eye rolls yeah i know um but i love this place and uh, i appreciate all of you being here and uh thank you so very very much and congratulations pennsylvania trolling museum Hi, my name's Claire Schrantz. I'm here representing Representative Tim O'Neill, the 48th District today. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here himself, but he does always love to um, take part in anything that has to do with the Trolley Museum or the fairgrounds. These are staples in our community. Um, myself, I've grown up in this community my entire life and have been coming to both of these places for as long as I can remember. So it's great to see all of the effort that went into this new wonderful entrance and bridge. And we hope to see you all next week at the fair as well. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm here representing PennDOT District 12. Uh, my boss, Joe Cesar, is on vacation, a well-deserved vacation, I might add. Uh, I just wanted to say that I'm probably the most excited to be here. I've never been here before. So when I got on the trolley, I was like a little, little kid, like just, so, and it's Friday and it's sunshine. So I can't think of a better way to spend the day than right here. So I've been uh, working for Pendop for a while now and I've heard about all these projects with the trolley and this is my first visit. So I, I'm just very happy and excited about this. I believe that other people are going to want to come here more often and tourism and economic development is just going to continue to grow and I got to come back after Sunday because I want some funnel cakes and I want to, I want to bring uh, my son back and uh, see what you have to offer because I'm from Fayette County and I go to that fair so I got to see what Washington County has to offer. So thank you all. Congratulations. Good morning all. Uh, my name is Todd Richards and I serve as the uh, Fair Board President here. I'd like to take this time to welcome you all here to this uh, ceremony celebrating the opening of this new trolley landing and bridge here. Uh, as the Fair, we're very excited to be celebrating our 221st Fair this year. We're looking forward to a week of good weather. Uh, uh, we've had some bad years, but this year hopefully that takes care of it for us. Uh, we have some new exciting things on our schedule, so be sure to go ahead and check that out. Uh, some exciting new things we picked up this year. We've teamed up with the county, the tourism, the trolley museum to kind of come together as one unified front moving forward with some great ideas. We ended up picking up some major sponsors this year. Uh, Range Resources is now uh, going to put a new tarp on our food court, so that will now be known as the Range Resource Food Court. And Macropotus Olive Oil has put a new cover on our stage for the grandstands. So as you see those new covers, uh, be sure to thank those sponsors for giving you the ability to sit under a cool food court with a new cover and for us to bring you those acts under a new stage cover. So we're excited for you guys to come enjoy the fair this week. Look forward to seeing each and every one of you, and we hope you enjoy your time here today. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. In Washington County, we like to say that the American spirit lives here. Also, the spirit of cooperation lives here as well. Projects like this come about because we work together. Work together with the Fair Board, the Trolley Museum, the Redevelopment Authority, the County of Washington, all of us working together to bridge these two great assets, the Trolley Museum and our County Fair. We're very proud at Tourism to be partners with you and to continue these great assets that we have here in Washington County, not only now, but into the future. So we're very proud to be partners with you. Have a great fair, have a continued success of the Trolley Museum, and we look forward to seeing you over the week and over the summer in Washington County. Thank you. Good morning, Scott Becker, Executive Director of the Pennsylvania Trolley Museum. We are just thrilled to see the completion of this project today. This is a community project with a capital C because of all the people that have come together to make this possible. And it continues a wonderful tradition of people riding the trolley to the fair that goes back to 1911. That's when the fair moved here. The trolley line was right over by the road there and the trolley museum is continuing this today. 
there's a number of people I'd like, just like to thank. First of all, Washington County, the Washington County Commissioners who got behind the project, and the Washington County Planning Commission who worked so hard to help to raise the money. And to uh, PennDOT, Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, they were just wonderful. This is not PennDOT's standard project, building a trolley platform, but they really worked with us uh, and it just worked out wonderfully. Also, the Port Authority of Allegheny County. Now, they're in a different county. They are thrilled, though, to help us, to help the Trolley Museum. These old historic signals you see over here, they were donated by Port Authority. They also donated track equipment that was very important to us. The track gauge here is wider than railroad gauge, and the Port Authority is that same gauge, so they allowed us to use their equipment and also their uh, bucket truck. We had outstanding uh, contractors on this project. a and &A Consultants did the engineering, Bioni Drilling worked on the bridge, CH&D Enterprises and Frontier Railroad Services, they helped us to build the platform, to build the tracks. So they were just super to work with and, and that's what it takes, it takes teamwork. Our volunteers are outstanding, the amount of effort they put into this. I do want to recognize um, some of our PTM leaders here today. Chris Pulaski is our president, Laura Wells, our vice president, and also Ray Bettler, who chairs our capital campaign steering committee. Ray's right in front here. This is all part of the museum's capital campaign. We are actually working on building a new 21,000 square foot welcome and education center at our site right over here off of uh, North Main Street. We're going to break ground for that next year. It's very exciting. We're going to build more parking down there. We have lots. We take people from the lots to the <laughs> fair, and we figure we carry about 10% of all the fair goers ride the trolley, which is pretty impressive. We run every day of the fair from 10 in the morning until almost midnight. So if you haven't uh, come to the fair in other years, this is a good year to come, and please ride the trolley when you do that. Now it's my great pleasure to introduce Larry Lovejoy. Larry is our volunteer director of engineering, and I have to say without Larry, this project probably wouldn't be here. Larry was heavily involved in both the bridge project and the trolley platform project. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome Larry up to the podium. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Scott. Now, uh, as, as Scott alluded to, there's been a whole bunch of people involved in this project since the design on the project began over four years ago. And I want to use my time up here to thank one key group of individuals who were involved in the project. That's the museum's volunteers, uh, particularly the guys and the gals, and with both men and women, uh, who work in the museum's power and signal department and the way and track department. Well, I don't have final totals yet. I won't have those till the end of the year when our timekeeper uh, tallies everything up. Uh, I've done a, a fairly accurate summary of how many hours our, our guys have put, it, put into the project. And collectively, 24 of the museum's volunteers have contributed over 5,350 hours to the completion of this project. Now, this, to do the math, that's, that's the equivalent of, of two and a half years of, of, you know, of work on the project. So, uh, and the, the project would not have happened without these guys. Now this includes both you know, professional services and skilled labor in, involved in the, in the project, you know, from the design all the way through the construction. At commercial labor rates, I figure those 5,000 plus hours are worth over $300,000. So that's you know, the contribution that the museum's volunteers have made to this project. Now in particular, I want to thank several individuals who each put in several hundred hours or more themselves into the project. First is Kevin Zebley of the Museum's Power and Signal Department, who designed and specified the signal system and then spearheaded the construction of the overhead trolley wire system and the signal systems. Essentially, everything you see above top of rail, all this wiring, all these cables, everything you see here, that was all done by the Power and Signal Department. Uh, a phenomenal effort spearheaded by Kevin, and it, it wouldn't have happened you know, if he hadn't been able, able to devote the time to the project. Uh, unfortunately, Kevin couldn't be here to, uh, today due to a family obligation, but I particularly want to thank his wife for making him available to do all the work that he's done on the project. Uh, the second person I want to thank is Scott Davis, also of the Power and Signal Department, who spent countless hours preparing the materials that Kevin installed. Now, all, all these uh, you know, doodads and hardware you see up in the, wi in, in the wires, 
you know, that you just don't take that stuff out of a box, you know, that this is all material that we've salvaged from the Port Authority, as, as, as Scott alluded to earlier, but all that stuff needed to be rehabilitated before you could actually install it in the track here. And Scott Davis was the man who did all that. Scott's standing up there on the top of the line car here, and I'd like everybody to give him a hand. Dan Bauer of the Museum's Way and Track Department was the other key individual who spent uh, hundreds of hours rehabilitating track materials you know, that were, were incorporated into the project. Again, the track materials came from the Port Authority, uh, but they needed some TLC before they were ready for the installation, and Dan took care of getting all that installed. Dan's standing over here by the crank car. Thank you, Dan. Bill Piper uh, put in 100 hours during phase uh, phase one of the project, the bridge part of the project, uh, overseeing the bridge construction contractor while also representing the interests of the museum, the county, and a and consultants, you know, so he was uh, the bridge designer. Uh, but Bill has taken a well-deserved vacation down at Hilton Head this week, so uh, we'll have to thank him remotely. Thank you, Bill. Uh, other folks involved, uh, Jeff King and Armin Latour, I think you're both here today. You know, we're very, very key volunteers, you know, in the erection of the overhead trolley wire system and the Thingle signal system. Thank you very much, Jeff and Armin. And there were, there were a, about another dozen or more individuals involved in the project, you know, you know, folks that were able to put, you know, you know, half a dozen hours onto the project up to people that put in 50, 60, 70 hours onto the project. So uh, if, I, if I tried to recite all the names, I'm sure I would forget somebody. So. Uh, rather than trying to do that and then messing up, I want to say thank all those people because they, they, they made the project possible. Now it's important to note that nearly all these individuals have full-time employment elsewhere. They're volunteers here at the museum. You know, they, the time they gave to the fairgrounds project was out of their spare time. You know, the time was spent on weekends, on evenings, their vacation days, whenever they could and whenever their spouses would agree to have them out here at the museum. So uh, a lot of those folks couldn't be here today because of those real jobs. And again, we thank them you know, very, very much. Now we can get to the climax of today's event. Uh, 150 years ago was the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad uh, in 1869. And when the rails from the east finally met the rails from the west, okay, a new tradition was born. The driving of the last spike on, on the Transcontinental Railroad. But it wasn't just any spike, it was a golden spike. So today we're going to continue that tradition by driving several golden spikes. The guys and gals who will have that honor will be the people who made the whole project possible, the political leaders who came up with the money necessary to construct these facilities. The bridge, the tracks, the platforms, the overhead wires, none of this would have been possible if the money had not been made available. So we're going to be doing this right over here by uh, the, the camera you see here. Uh, you know, so that uh, you know, we'll be sitting over right next to the bridge. So let's adjourn over to that location for the driving of the Golden Spike. Really went all the way in. <laughs> It's, it's lean and heavy, it's not going to work. You have to cry. Yeah, right. can, we, can we hold those high heels for you? you know? Where's your still toes? Safety glasses. Oh, Watch your hands. Oh, yeah. She did. There you go. Is that enough? That's better than that other guy. Wasting man hours. Good show, Hold all your laughter. We go broke with these guys. Yeah, right. Go so broke with today. The, uh, it just shows you how me important too. it is. It's a big gym, huh? Hey, there we go. <laughs> 14 years in construction. Ringer. <laughs> yeah, they brought a ringer in. an application for That's great. Very successful. Oh, this one here. I had LASIK two days ago. I hope I don't get my own one. <laughs> Hey, there you go. Hey, good. Camera, camera. Good 
Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Whoa. Look at that. The women did it. Yeah. Nice job. Close enough. One more after that. Larry. Larry. That's my Larry. 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 Same place twice. There's a guy. There's a worker. There's a worker. That's that a boy. Hey, Larry, I see a potential volunteer here. Yeah. Absolutely. You're hired. Volunteer for one. Talk about the Bell Jar. Show him how it's done, Larry. I'm not going to do the last one here. Go ahead, Larry. Spike out a little bit. Oh, oh my goodness. That's what he didn't wind up. Atta boy, that's how you do it. All right, Scott, I'm turning back over to you. All right. We're going to cut a ribbon here. We're going to cut a ribbon here. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, tell us when. We'll count down. Ten. <laughs> Here we go. Three. Three. Two. One. Yay. Yay. I save these. <laughs> so you can have, you can say this. A little bit. You think I've done it? A little embarrassing. Oh, 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 oh